Hello everyone. Welcome to Super Coaching UPSC by Textbook. This is Venkatesh. And today, we are delving into the topic of the geopolitical dynamics of any port with special emphasis and focuses on the Chabahar port. As you have seen in the history, as you have seen from the ancient hubs to the present uh, big um, uh, ports, you see that ports are having a very, very important strategic significance where they have shaped the history. So if you can see how the ports have shaped the history, when you talk about the things like uh, the accessibility of trade, connectivity, the global dynamics, they are going beyond the shores of the power, right? So the ports cannot be seen as just like a mere center of where there is offloading and onloading of the goods and services, especially the goods here, on offloading and onloading of the goods, but they are also the centers of geopolitical power. And in fact, it is not exaggeration that if I say that ports are one of the important areas for sustainable development in the present era of world. Without much wastage of time, let us now discuss about how ports are very crucial in terms of the geopolitical dynamics in the present world with a special emphasis and focus on the Chabahar port, right? So let's start with that. So as you can see here, the Chabahar port, recently you have seen that Chabahar port, why it is in news? Because India has urged the countries of all the Central Asian regions to use the port of the Chabahar port or rather to use the port located on the southeast coast of the Iran to enhance the connectivity and trade with India and other countries in the world. So as part of the regional agreements happened recently, you have seen that India has urged the countries of all the Central Asian countries in the recent uh, summits of certain uh, national security members, they have urged the countries to use this port to enhance the connectivity with the trade with India and other countries in the world, especially with the Central Asian countries, right? Have you seen such news? Let me see the comments if you have any doubt. Yes, good afternoon, PRP. Good afternoon. How are you doing? How are you doing? Right. So, this is the thing which you are discussing. Yes, good afternoon, Gayatri as well. Right. So, we are discussing about the ports, the significance of Chabahar port. Now, where is Chabahar port? Let us see the location of the Chabahar port. If you see the Chabahar port, it is located in the region of southeastern coast of Iran and it is actually away from the Persian Gulf. You can see here, these are very, very crucial points to understand about the dynamics. Away from the Persian Gulf, uh, this is Gulf of Oman, right? So you can see that it is the only, and one important thing about this is, the Chabahar port, which is very, very, it's a direct opening for Iran towards the Indian Ocean. So this is the significance, right? This is the significance, okay? So it is also a only deep sea port in Iran with direct ocean access, especially to the Indian Ocean. It need not go across the Hormuz Strait. It, go, it need not go across the Persian Gulf. That is also very, very crucial because these are always under war because you see the geopolitical dynamics. Iran, Saudi Arabia, the conflicts within the West Asia, it is a very, very conflicted thing, the global dynamics of this region. So when you talk about the power dynamics here, having significant with respect to the regional dynamics, the local Shia Sunni dynamics of the Muslim region here, as well as even the uh, world powers, how they are having, there, these regions are very, very crucial. And the Chabahar port being away from the Persian Gulf and the Hormuz Strait is very, very crucial for connectivity. So that is also very important, right? So two important points here, only deep sea port, where there is no amount of big go, big ships can enter, plus the region port is direct access to the Indian Ocean, 
without the region of no con no concerns of persian gulf and hormuz strait right so this is one of the important thing this location has wide geopolitical implications when you talk about the power with respect to china the china's uh, belt corridor belt and economic corridor belt and road initiative which china is doing india this is regarded as an alternative from india so that is what we are doing countering the chinese presence and when this project was started this project was started as a key transit center for the key transit center actually for connecting the afghanistan so if we wanted to have any humanitarian assistance to afghanistan india when it has started it we cannot get the access through pakistan because of our historical concerns and the dynamics associated with india pakistan relationship so what happened was we started on focusing on chabahar port for connectivity with respect to afghanistan if you can see here this is the connectivity with respect to afghanistan so if you wanted to move any kind of if uh, import uh, any kind of aid be it in terms of wheat and all if you wanted to provide to afghanistan we need to provide either through trade either through land route of pakistan and because of the concerns we are trying to use this port so that we go to the Gaza, chabahar port and the rail road uh, with within iran and then we are having a roadway line connecting the zarans in uh, afghanistan right to kabul and all we are trying to do so we are being direct via this this is one of the objective but with time with increasing economic cost associated with uh, moving across the you see any ship which it travels when you are trading with respect to europe trading with respect to russia the most of the trade happens with respect to the red sea across the suez canal the mediterranean sea and then into the atlantic ocean and then to russia and all the cost of transport is very very high so as an alternative we wanted to have uh, the transport with respect to the central asian countries and then into russia via this region so if you wanted to travel via this so the chabahar port provides access to an important route called international uh, north south transport corridor north south transport corridor which goes across from iran and then into the central asian republics and then into russia all such things will actually provides much more opportunity for us to do around any kind of trade increase our presence and the cost of trade will also will be decreasing when you see such kind of trade connectivity the potential of the trade the cost minimizing and all that ports controlling the power becomes very significant that is the geopolitical significance of the port of chabahar right so you can see here So let's see about the significance. So this is a key of the tree transport corridor, counter Chinese presence, import of iron ore, sugar, rice, so many things. So when you talk about this, see what is the political dynamics we are having? First, what is the geopolitical dynamics we are getting out of this thing? First, india and iran relationship would be strengthening and with this india access to afghanistan would increase with iran's access with india's access to afghanistan increasing it will also increase to the central asian republics india central asia trade would increase when india central asia trade increase the economic efficiency the costs they are very very crucial so economic efficiency of india's trade would increase economic efficiency when you actually develop the much needed infrastructure and all now automatically what will happen that will boost the local trade between india and iran which is crucial for so many things in india say example you can see the trade with central asia would grow this will provide the opportunity for more energy security so what happens as the trade will increase it will also provide the opportunity for our energy security because 80% of india's oil we import 
So when you have the proper well-developed infrastructure of roadway, railway, connectivity and all, whatever the energy which is there, that can be easily transported to India. So be it the Central Asian countries or as the Middle Eastern countries, especially with the, especially with the Iran. So that is one such thing. So we are focusing on that. Then when you do it, these are the regions where you have decent amount of fertilizer imports, be it the potassium which we get, all such kind of things. Fertilizer imports really gets much more cheaper when you do this such kind of things. So then the chemicals, petrochemical sectors and the steel sectors get an impetus because if you have steel production in India, we can actually get cheaper iron ore from these regions where they cannot have that bigger facility of steel plants. So when there is proper connectivity, when there is the proper connectivity with these regions, the bulk trade will significantly increase and the cost of trade will be falling down. They say that 35 to 50 percentage of the cost of trade will be falling down in this region. So that is the geopolitical significance and what kind of goods which we import? We get things like fertilizers imports, the chemical sector, the petrochemical sector, steel sectors as well as the easy availability of minerals from Afghanistan. So Afghanistan minerals also we can get so as opportunity of trade with respect to Central Asia. See, get learn from history. Sir, example, have you ever heard about this place called uh, uh, Baila Dilla in Chhattisgarh? Baila Dilla is an important iron ore mining center in Chhattisgarh, Bastar district. The Japanese people has constructed a railway line, as we also we have asked this kind of a railway line infrastructure across the Eastern Ghats connecting Vishakhapatnam port. When they have connected the Vishakhapatnam port with the central Chhattisgarh, where you find the iron ore mining centers. We got infrastructure free of cost from Japan. In return, we have provided significant sources of iron ore to Japan, which fostered the relationship between India and Japan. The same kind of thing we can replicate in the Central Asian countries. The land border, the land corridor would be significantly increasing when you see such kind of things. So that would be the significance of the geopolitical things, which can have a huge role to play in terms of these areas, right? So look at the um, availability of trade. You have to mention about the, the aspects of trade, the things like, uh, you know, the iron ore, the things like fertilizers, things like, uh, you know, the trade with respect to wheat, uh, the agriculture trade which can happen, right? So especially the fertilizers as well as the growth of wheat and all such kind of things opportunity of export automatically india can also export so many products from as well from, from india to these regions all such things will actually help in deeper engagement of connectivity this provides the opportunity of sustainable development as well are you following all of you Dietri, prp are you getting that what is the significance of chabahar port Right? Are you getting that? Okay. Then, why do you think that uh, this project was not completely in news, uh, was uh, not completely in the, what is it, successful until now? Because for so many days, it has so many concerns. The concerns of uh, the trussle between India, Iran and uh, USA in terms of the western countries sanctions on iran which has a huge challenge that is number one number two also you have seen the chinese presence which is increasing that is also putting pressure very near to the chabahar port we have a gwadar port 70 kilometers from here we have a gwadar port and that led to a challenge with respect to connectivity there that is one such challenge and mostly the main challenge is the dynamics with respect to the sanctions so India has been willing to invest around $8 billion here into this project for successful thing for the trade, the connectivity and you have the north-south transport corridor which is almost around railroad connectivity of, of ship connectivity for around more than 7,200 kilometers. The north-south transport corridor is around 7,200 kilometers. So you can see here the 7,200 kilometers length 
connecting the yellow color line so starting from mumbai towards the chabahar port then into the regions of iran tehran via the baku azerbaijan and all such places here and then into the moscow region so with that we can have more amount of red roll corridor this is a road corridor and we can also have a rail corridor <coughs> connecting with the europe so tomorrow when you are trading with europe you will trade with respect to this which will increase our which will decrease our costs that is the crux of this project i hope you are following this then with increasing things we are having also concerns with respect to red sea the concerns with piracy the concerns with pirate attack uh, the choking point of the red sea and all there are three important trade routes which we are in news the middle east india afghanistan corridor india middle east europe corridor that is one which is in news the north south transport corridor which is one alternative another alternative is all across the russian coast of the arctic region via bering strait into this uh, that is also another coast which was in news so these are the trade things which we need to focus upon hope you all have understood this video right the significance and all with respect to the chabahar port so these are the things and uh, for more such videos and all you can always get into the telegram channel for such kind of queries and all any kind of queries and all you can get into my telegram channel and uh, there is an important question which i have given as part of my mcq uh, as part of the main answers you can write such answers you can submit to me i will be evaluating i'll be discussing i'll be giving you feedback i'll be discussing you about concepts and all such kind of things right so that's it about the video about chabahar port we'll join again with any another interesting topic tomorrow until then goodbye jai hind happy learnings Thank you.